All right, guys, I'm back and I got something new for you. The Motorola XBR 6350. These are DMR TDMA uh, portable radios. Unlike APCO 25, they use TDMA technology, which allows two simultaneous transmissions on the same frequency due to the timing in them. These radios are 32 channels each in two banks. You have to set a button to switch it over a bank, and that is only available in conventional mode. You only can have one bank of trunking. So a couple features about these radios. They have a man down button. They have three side buttons. You got your volume control and your channel control. And here's the side accessory connector. It's very similar to the Motorola Apex. And here's this one with the dust cover on it. So as I stated earlier, these radios feature TDMA technology, which is actually pretty cool how it works. Um, as I said, it allows two simultaneous transmissions on each frequency, which means instead of having four frequencies for four channels, you can technically have two and they will be interference free. So all these radios are group controlled and color code controlled, which means when they're programmed, they have to have the correct group number and the correct color code. If any of that is incorrect, they will not unmute their signal. Also, these radios feature RAS, which I believe is called Restricted Access Systems. If a repeater has RAS enabled, this radio has to have the RAS code in it to receive the repeater. RAS is proprietary to Motorola, which means Motorola is the only company that can have RAS. So other radio vendors like Hytera, those radios cannot be used on those systems. But without RAS enabled, you can use any DMR, not DPMR radio, DMR radio, which includes the any Motorola, any Hytera, and I hate to say it, but any Tytera, the TYT series. I would highly not recommend the TYT MD80 series due to it has severe timing issues, which means when you transmit on one time slot, it can bleed over to the second time slot, which causes severe, severe instability. I would highly not recommend any of the TYT or cheap DMR portable radios. I would highly recommend though, Hytera. Hytera makes excellent products and I have never seen any issues with them. I'm actually planning on getting a few when it's possible. So these radios are pretty much fully featured right out of the box. Uh, they do analog, narrow band, um, and then they do digital super narrow band, and then they can do MDC, and I believe quick call, and a couple other things. One of the issues you will find though is that these radios cannot do wide band analog, but there is a modification to the CPS that will let them program as wideband, which I have done, allowing me to transmit at 25 kilohertz spacing. So these radios feature enhanced digital privacy encryption, which is only available on digital personalities, but um, it works pretty well. It is, it is hackable, but it works pretty, pretty well. Um, I have it set for my bottom button. So like right now when I transmit, I'm in the clear. And if you notice that that uh, push the talk beep, it changes when you enable encryption. So this is when I enable encryption. You notice how it has a different noise. This radio has the key so it can receive it. But if you notice the double flash, it's encrypted. See, and this just gives a single blink for not encrypted. Let's go ahead and turn that back off.
So I pulled the battery off. Most of these radios come with standard impress batteries, which actually last a long time. And here's the back of the radio. Mine have the Connect Plus trunking boards added, which is an option, which means they can do um, Connect Plus. They can do Capacity Plus standard uh, trunking, but mine have Connect Plus in them. So my radios have a mismatch of uh, personalities in them. I actually have a few digital, like this one is digital. But then when you switch over to two, it's analog. And it goes to the talk for mid tone, but no end tone because it's, it's analog. analog. That's analog. Now I have more digital set. I personally use digital due to the fact that it can penetrate uh, buildings and gets a little bit farther distance. That's been proven with DMR. But I, if I have to, I'll switch right back to analog. Um, these radios are pretty excellent. They're rugged. They're small. They're easy to carry. Uh, stuff is relatively cheap for them. So I would highly recommend them as a good beginner DMR portable. Uh, you can find them relatively cheap on the web. Also, one more thing I forgot. Um, these are XBR 6350s. Uh, the XBR 6300 is the same radio just without GPS enabled. Uh, the only way to use GPS on these is if you use a software and have a repeater for them. You can track them over the GPS software and they will uh, send beacons out. I currently have GPS disabled in them because I have no use for them. Alright, this is my quick review of the Motorola XBR 6300 series DMR portable motor turbo radios. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below and I'll answer them as quickly as I can.